I want to get to some Lions talk because this feels like one of those um, pivotal games in the NFL schedule for the team here in Detroit. They're on the road at the Chargers. Might feel like a home game for them. Every other game yeah. uh, that the Chargers play at SoFi is essentially a road game for the Chargers. But Braylon, this feels like one of those forks in the road where the Lions are going to go this way and, and really compete for that 14, 13, 14 wins. Or if uh, they lose this game, it could be, you know, minimum 11 upwards of 12 might be the high water mark here. And yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And what they got to do is they got to start off fast. Like, this is one of those games you start off fast, you sustain the drive, you get it going, you take their <laughs> lack of crowd, you take them out, all jokes aside. Because at the end of the day, Maz, tell me if I'm wrong, they still have Justin Herbert. They still have Keenan Allen. They still have Quentin Johnson, who hasn't done anything, but we saw first class. Eckler. Uh, they have Eckler. It's <coughs> Quentin Johnson. We saw first Eckler? Time, but, uh, yeah. He's Eckler when he's on my fantasy. Right. He's not my fantasy. Scene. But he has Eckler. They have Derwin James, who's still, when he's on the field, one of the best safeties in the NFL. So if you get one of those, if you get those guys, Herbert, to get in rhythm with Keenan Allen early, maybe score an early touchdown, Maybe somehow they get an early sack, strip fumble, or maybe get a three and out because they still do have Joey Bosa. They still do have Khalil Mack. If you let those guys get going early, I can see it being one of those games where somehow or another, Sandy, I mean, uh, Los Angeles Chargers, like, yo, we still the Chargers. Like, we still have playmakers. Like, we still can do this. And you give them the, the confidence that they haven't had this year. You give Brandon Staley the confidence that you haven't had this year. They got to go out there and know that they're the Lions. They got to go out there and know they are a better team. They are playing better football. They got all their guys healthy. They don't have nearly as many question marks, if any, as it relates to what the Los Angeles Chargers have going on. You're the better football team. Go out there, understand that, and operate on that. They don't get a sluggish start. I don't want to hear anything about it's the West Coast and we had to ease into the game. Go out there and start fast. Start fresh, start fast, and that's up to Dan Campbell. This game, I believe, it's going to be a coaching game. It's going to be a coaching game, Matt, because you know what I think about Dan Campbell. I think he's a damn good coach, really coming to his own. In year three, he's got these guys motivated. He is the identity of the Detroit Lions. I think we can all agree on that. And then you got another guy, Brandon Staley, who's a mistake waiting to happen. He is a walking embarrassment as a coach in terms of big time moments and what he does under pressure, and he's put these guys in bad situation. Keller Moore isn't doing anything. Don't let that win against the Jets fool you. Herbert 136, no touchdowns passing, 16 of 32. That's just the facts. So they got to go out there and know they're a better team. I think this is Dan Campbell versus uh, Brandon Staley, and I got my money on Dan Campbell. The only thing I'm worried about, Bray, is coming off the uh, bye. Yeah. And, you know, you could talk better about that. Uh, you've come up, you've played all those years. Coming off a bye, going out to the West Coast, what, what is it like to start the game? I mean, because that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about a slow start. Yeah. And then by the second quarter, maybe they're down 10 points. And they got to play a little catch-up. I hope that's not the case, but that's what I'm worried about. Other than that, yeah. the manpower against the Chargers, I believe uh, our offensive line will hold up a lot better than the Jets' offensive line did on Monday night. And I just think that we can, we can win this game. And I just hate that it's coming off the bye and you're going out to the West Coast. I just have... A, the Lions usually don't win out there. That, that, that's the old Lions, I know. Right. But still, tough to go out to the West Coast. It's tough to go out West Coast because it's completely, it's three hours difference. It's a change of pace. It's a change of scenery. Your body has to get adjusted to it. So it is a change of pace. But that's going to be on Ben Johnson. What happens a lot of times coming out of the bye, Maz, you'll get an offensive coordinator, <clears throat> Brian Schottenheimer. You'll get guys, and after the bye week, they try to ease you into the game. Now, you know, I know we came off a of bye. Let's run the ball three times with Sean, Taylor, uh, Sean Green, or let's run the ball with Danian. Let's do some dumb stuff. Like, let's come out fast. Just because it's a bye week, you guys have been off. You're just getting David Montgomery back. I know you want to get David Montgomery going. Everybody's going to expect you guys to try to run the ball and down that defensive line's throat. That's when you come out with the pass. Hey, first play of the game, Try something different. This is when you, as Ben Johnson, this is when you show us what you, this show us what you got. We have been calling you a young genius now for the better part of a year as it relates to seasonal time. I want to see it. I want to see this credit that we keep giving Ben Johnson. Now it's time to put on display. And I think if he comes out fast, Ryan, he comes out like like cooking with grease early and not waiting and trying to run the ball like a typical line stand, you're going to catch the Los Angeles Chargers off balance and then never let them get on balance. I think Jared Goff's going to have a big day as well. You know, we talk about everybody other than Jared Goff. When it comes to the Lions and the offense, or it's St. Brown, it's Montgomery, it's Gibbs, it's Laporta, it's Reynolds. We seem to be talking about everybody other than the offensive line. 
We don't talk about how good Jared Goff is. Uh, and, and I think he's going to go back to Los Angeles and have a really big day. And I know played for the Rams and not the Chargers, but it is the same building. Yeah. And I'm sure he'll see some familiar faces uh, that work at the stadium. And he's going to want to play really well. He's going to want that game ball. You know, you see every week Dan Campbell on the wins gives that game ball away. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and predict that Jared Goff gets that game ball as he returns to SoFi Stadium this week for the first time since he was traded away. Um Actually, no. They did play the Rams actually a year ago, but uh, yeah, they did. in the championship had the lead. Yeah, they did in the Dan Campbell's first year, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but nonetheless, I think that Jared they pulled Goff, every trick out of the book. That yeah, day. I think golf golf goes and has a big day. Yeah, I mean, I definitely can see it. You know, and the good thing about when you go out to play in these games, in which it's a place where you used to play, or it's an area you used to play for Jared Goff, used to play at the stadium, if you will. I remember when I was with the Jets, and I finally got a chance to go back to Cleveland. Like I couldn't wait to go back to Cleveland. Ryan, there's one thing when you return to where you were formerly at and you're just trying to do it on your own. You're trying to go out there and have a big game on your own and you're trying to go out there and stick it to the other team. It's another thing when the teammates that you now represent, that you now are a part of, they want to get they want to get your your get back just as bad. They want you to get off uh, and destroy that team just as bad. And that's how the Browns, I mean the the Jets were with me. Like they were like, hey man, I'm gonna mess these guys up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a shot in for you. Or I'm gonna block extra long so you can get a pass. I think that's what Jared Goff has here in Detroit. All these players know how Jared Goff left that uh, that Los Angeles situation. So the fact that he's going back, they want to make plays too. Speaking of Jared Goff, I do want to mention, he had uh, this to say. This uh, was posted from Eric Woodyard on ESPN. This is Jared Goff talking about that Lions offense and that Lions team. They also said that you want to be playing your best ball in December. I mean, we've been through this before, too. What does that mean? Yeah, just, just keep on trending upwards. Uh, I think we've been doing that um, you know, for most of the year, and we had a little setback in Baltimore, but really been trending upwards. We've been getting better, and, and hopefully uh, still a lot of room to get better as the season goes on. You said it right there. Is that the fun part, though? I mean, you guys are 6-2, and two, and you're, you're in a good spot, but if you look at it, you've got yeah. seven different offensive line combinations. You, right. There looks like there's a lot of meat on the bone. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I think so. I think there's a lot of meat on the bone, both for offense and defense. I'm sure they say the same thing, that where we feel like – Maybe the Carolina game was a complete game, but other than that, I don't know if we we really had one. Um, and, and how do we get you know closer to that as the season comes to an end? And, um, no reason to not start this week and try to put it together a complete game this week as well. Jared Goff absolutely believes that this team has not played their best football yet, and they absolutely want to be in a position to play their best football in December. And yesterday, Braylon, you were talking about uh, would you rather a first-round buy or would you rather just keep that momentum going? Go, go, go. Yeah. Play a game at home and do this. I think if the Lions are playing their best football, it doesn't even matter uh, what they get. Of course, obviously, if you can sit out and get the number one seed, yeah. uh, that's obviously – uh, preferable, but for Jared Goff in this Lions team to be healthy and put it all together would be incredible as we go down the stretch here in the second half of the season. I agree. There's a reason why they didn't pick anybody up at the trade deadline with the exception of Donald Peoples Jones. And I'm glad they got him out of Ohio. So we, we can't have our Michigan guys in Ohio at By this time. By the way, he's right? on the uh, injured list already. It, 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 he's, got ribs. Practice. It, he's got ribs. He's got ribs. He's fine. I'm just glad he's out of Ohio. Welcome back. Um, but with that being said, there's a reason why they didn't go after anybody else. Now, we wanted them to pick maybe somebody up on the defensive line, preferably the outside opposite of Aiden. But they feel confident in this team, right? They feel confident in this team. They feel confident in the players that they have. They feel confident in the scheme. They feel confident in their coaches, Aaron Glenn and Ben Johnson, putting them in the best positions to win these games and to have a deep run into the, into the playoff, talking NFC Championship and Super Bowl. So that's how they feel. Then I welcome the energy. I just want to see it. This Saturday, I mean, excuse me, this Sunday against the Los Angeles Chargers, I just want to see that energy because I believe in the energy, and we've seen it. Like, when they get rolling, when they get rocking and rolling, and you see the defense, you know, they're doing their thing. They're getting stopped. You see Tracy Walker getting sacks, knocking people out. Then you see David Montgomery running the ball, and they're running the ball, and they're running the ball to the point where the defensive line quits. You've seen it, and we've seen it look good. We just haven't seen it all come together, and that's the thing I think everybody's excited for. This is the game, right? You hit it on the head. If they win this game, they're a two, three loss team at worst. Mm -hmm. If they lose this game, I think they go 11 or 12 wins. I just need to see a big road win. Uh, and I know they won in Kansas City. I'm not going to take that. 
Yeah. I wanted to I wanted to go undefeated against the AFC West. They beat the Chiefs. They beat the Raiders. Now they get the Chargers. They get the Broncos in a few weeks, and that's going to be a Ford Field. They got to sweep the AFC West now. You beat the you beat the Chiefs. You got to beat these other three teams. They're a better team. They're rested. They're healthy. Their offense is intact for the first time all season. Sky's the limit here for this team. They got to win this game if they're going to earn my complete trust. <laughs>